Rufus boy. What you reading, Jackie boy? Hey, sweetheart. Howdy. Night. <laughs> Brave men of old England. That's ridiculous. What do you mean? The English aren't brave, Jackie. Now, I once beat up six Englishmen in a bar in Canada and knocked them all out. Really? <laughs> Why? Other well, accents just, just gets on a fella's nerves, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you something strange that isn't in that book of yours. Do you know the English had talking horses? You're kidding me. I never lie, Jackie boy. I met them talking horses in Canada. Brian was his name. <laughs> it's just one problem, though. What? Yeah. Horses is boring as hell. <laughs> Worse than Englishmen. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Shut up. You know, Pa, I wish I'd met your Pa. Trust me, you ain't missed much. I'm older than you was when he died, right? Yeah. Don't worry. I ain't going nowhere. work and we're barely putting enough food on the table. I hope we can make it, John. It's early days. We're all still learning, especially me. We'll get there. How you doing? Hello. Can you believe this? I'm starting to. All ours, Abigail. All right. <laughs> giving me the worst jobs, don't you? Well, we'll give you that idea. <laughs> How about you take the shovel and, and I'll walk around lording over the manor for a bit, hmm? We all do our share. Uh -huh. You know that. Place to start and take shape. Yeah, you've come a long way from sleeping in a tent surrounded by thugs and fools. <laughs> now I sleep in a house surrounded by thugs and actual sheep. <laughs> Guess it's progress. Am I doing this right? I think you're doing fine, but you're asking the wrong man. I'm still learning all this myself. I just want to do good, Pa. John! John! What? Well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I need a few things for a home remedy. A few things like what? Oh, just some whiskey, some peppermint, uh, milkweed, uh, some hair grease, and uh, oh, some skunk meat. What? <laughs> what have you been up to? Oh, it's a long story, but it really hurts. If you're out and about and come across any of these things, well, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Thanks, John. Evening. 
All right, fellas. Evening. Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could, easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both, as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Hi, yikes! Mm. I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Ooh. Hey, hey, hit me again! Right here! Right here! Ooh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. There was only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. My turn! Enough, gentlemen? Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <sighs> <laughs> Always nice to see a returning face. Enjoy your destination.
Excuse me. Hello? Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. With uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. My name is Rangeful. And I'm Jim Milton. John Marston. Oh. Tell me. Is Arthur... Uh... He passed away. A long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well... My people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. And it's, uh... What are you doing here? I... I don't really know. My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well, it's good to see you, uh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you. Uh, Yep. Well, how'd I end up in Annisburg? Oh, no. Please! No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Girl, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Uh, Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No! Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man! Do something, you'll eat him! Um, uh, uh, easy there. Easy there! Sherry! Back up! Easy, big guy. Uh, uh, <gasps> Ouchie! you ever again. Mama. You should keep that thing in a cage. Maybe you should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off. 
love to, hmm? B Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. You just stay away from that sherry, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. That's amazing. If you say so. Are you, oh, are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Marjorie. She cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? That's not it. She's a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, partner. We're gone. Come back here. What the hell? She just wants to speak to you. Come on. ain't solving anything. You're starting to irritate me. What the hell are you pulling here? If you're here, I'm gonna find you. Oh, that's a neat trick. Hit Very good. This Very good. I'm gonna get you now. Now where are you going? Magnifico? Get magic out of this, partner. Come on now. She ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. And you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hold on there. So God long, damn it. dummy. Where are you? You put oh. your oh, Really? Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? 
What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha! Shut up, you dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad everything worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, buddy? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. Huh. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. I'm back to work with a bloody smile. <sighs> <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, a uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. Okay. What's the toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Huh? A toy boat? Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Oh, good for you. Ah! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You. You are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor... Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. It, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? 
Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. They can miss the explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have a certificate. There. That one's gone too. You see what stupid man does? You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. A pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatom. What a way to go. There. All gone for you. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Hog, still avoiding magnetic mines. Or he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. Just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans, all you think about is sales! Look who rolls the seas. <laughs> very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my uh, European coarseness. In the Balkans, uh, we are a mannerless people, but we work hard. <laughs> now, let me go over the investment with you once more. And, and, and this is for military purposes? No. It is for humanity itself. Uh, you see... Uh, you see, I have now illustrated just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this Earth. If you will help me and not stab me in the ass like the other Americans, Traitors! All of you goddamn traitors! None of you has the wisdom to invest in my genius! Genius! Please don't look at me like you're fools. All of you. Fools. Fools! Fools! John Marston. 
Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. <laughs> I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope. Over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see him here. I helped him out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let him know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Miss Marjorie's medical miracle, Bertram the Pinheaded Giant! He ain't even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for him wrong. Ooh. Our half wedded Hercules is as strong as a bull. You, sir, did you assist? Me? Hell yeah! Come on up! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, get out of here! Let's see it! <laughs> oh, yeah! You're 
look like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the breadbasket. Go on, give him a real big suck. I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on, on. Do it, do it. Oh, all right. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me! No, 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 no! no. Oh, 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 I, Magnifico the Magnificent! And I have tamed the beast! Drop him! Hey, 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 hey. Ha -ha. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of. <laughs> Transfiguration! Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oof. What the hell is I that? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This Doing a nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! Go follow your brother! Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, thanks. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. Good evening, mister. Hi, right, fellas. Hey. Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? You going after Lindsay Waffles? Might be. I might just want to hang his poster on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this fella someone else's problem? We, sir? on the urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This fella in particular. Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. 
We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Le Moine Raiders. If this bounty's for the whole outfit, you should have made it more. I guess all that remains is to bring them in. Remember, they forfeited their right to life as well as liberty. Bon chance. Even. That all. Lindsay Walford! I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing, if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sock. Come away peacefully and you can live, mister! Oh, oh, we need a man on the trinker! Get him! I don't know who this no-account bounty hunt bastard is, but he's gonna know the Raiders!
greedy, grasping, carpet bagger bullcrap, and we're drowning in it. We're up to our ears, our ears, sir. There's no room for freedom. No, sir, there ain't. No room where there's money to be made. It's deplorable. The Lamorne Raiders ain't done yet. We are bloody, but unbowed. We will never surrender. Our journey is almost at an end. Oh, I hope the night folk get you, you son of a bitch, and hang you from a tree. Yeah. This is it. Damn the police. Damn every one of them. Traitors. Come on. Traitor to your state. I got a live one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor fella comfortable in one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt a bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. I make good on my promises. Here's your payment. I'm worth every penny. Oh, no shortage of outlaws and sun done you find another poster up if you come back here soon. Howdy. Clear this ride up for you. Hello. Be a good girl now. Hello there. Who are you? I'm a friend of Arthur's. He passed a few years back, unfortunately. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. I've been sending you the bones since then. Why there was such a hiatus. Well, come in, come in. I cannot wait to show you the fruits of your labor. You'll be quite amazed. I was right, of course. Quite right. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you. Here, just as I thought. Totalosaurus West, Elizabethus. The Elizabethan Megasaur. That's uh, quite a monster. Oh, 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 it'll change everything. It's incredible. Tail. Fins for swimming. Three pairs of legs so we could run extra fast, even in mud. Large tusks for doing tusky type things. And long spines that acted as wings. They said I was a fool, a silly old woman. <laughs> I was right all along. Oh, this is the happiest day since well, since my sister died. But that's another story. Thank you. I will, of course, share the credit. Oh, that, that's okay. I like to keep a low profile. Really? Yeah.
I must give you something, something valuable. I... Here, take this. The handle is genuine stegosaurus bone. Wow, thank you. <laughs> All the best. The same to you, sir. Let's go, girl. Just a moment. Hello, sir. And who might you be? A caller. John Marston. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. You became friends? Oh, yeah, Arthur. Yeah. How is he? Uh, sorry to say, he passed soon after that. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I read about you in his journal. Been calling in on folks. Well, I'm grateful I'm one of them. Uh, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Arthur caught that. Huh, did he? And he killed that with his hands. That's quite something. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Whoa, pig. I lost sight of him. Don't worry. Tracks go this way. Come on. Yeah. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What do we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right. And down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view.
snow. Ah! God. Oh. Hey, Hamish. <laughs> I got thrown and a bastard hog got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn. <clears throat> <laughs> but he's strong. <laughs> hey, Mish. You're okay. Easy. We're fine, ain't we? Easy. It's all right. Here we go. Come on, Buell. Let's go. Let's ride. Hello there. Can I help you? I uh, think you knew a friend of mine. A fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning probably seven or eight years back. Yes, of course. Or I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed soon after. I figured he might not have had long left. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point, and he lifted me up. Glad to see you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, it, it's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive. And now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am. You take care of yourself out here, ma'am. Posters. Anthony Foreman. Check that saloon in the slum for him. He might have a bounty on his head, but you'd hardly know it. Cares on about his business in the less salubrious parts of town, knowing the law won't dare to come looking. <laughs> Is it that you can't go into the slums to get Foreman, or you won't? That's a mighty forward line of inquiry. The slum dwellers can't be helped, sir, so we're not gonna try. As a matter of fact, I heard about this fella years ago. What more can you tell me of him then? He's a panderer, a thief, a cheat, a braggart, somewhat of a hero to a few mistaken fools. Simply put, the man is just bad for society. Society? Well, it's what you make it. 
I guess all that remains is to bring them in. Don't be too rough with them. I'd like to be able to... Greetings, friend. Okay, Missy. Hey, you. What you looking for? Hey, could you help me find an Anthony Foreman? Anthony Foreman? This I, uh, goddamn battle. I don't recollect that name. Jackson. Tilly Jackson? I ain't heard that name in a time. Hey, you're not the... No, he was bigger. Look, if you're with that other friend of hers, I promise to stay away. And I did. Don't bring me in because of Tilly Jackson. Things is long settled between us. But I ain't bringing you in for Tilly Jackson. I'm bringing you in because they're paying me. If my cousin was still here, you wouldn't have got me. I wouldn't have had to hide out in no slum, avoiding no bounty. When he got killed and we lost them other boys at Radley's house, that's when things went sour. Foreman's ain't been quite so much since then. This has nothing to do with me. Here's the station. I'm guessing you ain't on this side of town much. I wouldn't piss on these people if they were burning. Anthony Foreman. He ain't society's problem no more. He's yours. Well, good to meet you finally, sir. I hope you find our accommodation suitable. Cells back there. Get comfortable. I ain't going anywhere. Well, you gonna want a hot bath after taking that trip through the slums. Actually, I like the slums, but gracious of you. Well, I hope my men can do as good a job on these outlaws as you have. The rest around here are being made by deputies from now on. No more bounties in Saint Denis, I'm afraid. Hello! 
if you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't come to rob you. It's me. I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> In the buffoon! <laughs> Hello! Hello. I uh, hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved the biggest problem and you mess it up! I did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well, well it, it is uh, the geometry of life. It, Grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Okay, but uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductor. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rod where filament goes. Solid. When all three conductors in press, lightning strikes the rod, and we harness our mission to make life. It's going! Okay, now 
Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I'd ever gone to school and had a clue of what was going on. What now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Missing something? Ah, oh, uh, the switches. The bloody switches. Okay. Uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. I'm lucky, huh? Second time? <laughs> More like seven thousand. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Watch. Who doubted me? It is me and you. <laughs> that isn't he? <gasps> is that it? For now, I am so happy. <laughs> Saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Good morning to you. 
sizing that one up then, are you? It's a decent bounty. I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Mark Johnson, the bounty. What do I need to know? I gotta be wary of this one? Just the other day, he took his son out on the rails. He seemed nice enough. Seemed, when quite clearly, he is not. It can be confusing. Anything else about this old bounty you got, Johnson? I don't know what to tell you. It's a funny one. Man looks to have put roots down, worked hard. He's part of the community. Almost. You never can know a person, and I say that as a married man. Well, I got a bounty to chase. They're looking for that one alive, I believe. Do your utmost. Quite an arm on you. Ain't much in the mood for company right now, partner. All right. You don't strike me as a happy fella. All those years chasing her. Well, she didn't want nothing to do with me. Then she finally says. Yes. <laughs> what a mistake that was! It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. You know, you remind me of a feller I talked to years ago. I was slinging these pebbles then, too. Feller told me to be a good man and the wife come. Bastard ruined my life. Should have never rushed to get that ring on your finger, Lily Mae. Never known a more evil woman. Listen, partner, I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but it's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. Right. I oh, they're here for your bounty. Oh, come to mama, boy. Oh. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? No, don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? If you wanna take me, take me. Look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy.
Johnson. Johnson. What? Just you being real quiet back there. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Oh, no, you don't. Damn it. Shit. I'll do these uh. tighter this time. How's that? You're coming with me. Now, what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke. <laughs> Prematurely. I think that's all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead. Because of you. Damn it, I knew you was being quiet. Hold on. Won't be long till we're in Rogues. This is Rhodes. You're almost rid of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Found this fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a great. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't. Those partners of yours are a rough bunch. Go to hell. <laughs> That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it. Someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Don't you believe in redemption? I worked the land, I raised a family, I redeemed myself, please. You ran and you kept running. Don't twist this any other way. Should be another poster going up soon. Rhodes means to clean up its environs. I swear I'm a good man now, Sheriff. I got a son. Everyone's got a sob story, Johnson. What are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah! Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> so what can I get for you today, sir? How the hell are you? Pretty good. Got some land in Great Plains. Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble, then? I wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Feels like an eternity ago. Doing all the work, Mr. Black. I went the last time. Yeah, fat lot of good. That get us. Well, we ain't dead yet. Oh. Huh. 
You're leaving me, huh? So. Yeah, we'll leave this then. <laughs> what are you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Uh, Come on. And I'll tall you, you lily living. Enough. Enough. Say, you two fools look like you've just run off from a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. I'll do your goddamn favor. What do you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Need to get to that poster behind you? Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by you. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey! Move! I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn manners! Bounty hunted bastard! Curl that! This... I'll make you go work! This one? Serious, no! You ain't going nowhere! You ain't the law, you know! I didn't want to do that. as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. You're fine. I lost my name. Still with us. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny here. <laughs> Mr. White. Interesting. I need that poster. Mm -hmm. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. 
This one's mine, so you can go and get Excuse your own. Excuse me. Was in town. Pretty hot. It got quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. You killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. You've done enough for us. We're on our own now. Hello. Are you well? Too sober to smile. Well, chin up. Heavens. Ah, oh, something else? Just so you know, it's a few hours before the next collection. Farewell. It's in me. They're in me. Uh, oh, you're Butch's not well, friend. Butcher's Crick. Uh, where? Uh, Butcher's Crick. Is that where you're from? Butcher's Crick. You want me to take They're you there or me? Oh, come on, friend. Butcher's Crick. Damn. You're a good filly. He was in some distress. It seems calm uh, now. I found him out in the woods. Oh, Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, come on, get up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? No, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. 
he said it's the darkness. Who said it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for lim... You're ah! me! <laughs> Please, please, sir. Uh, ah, uh, them you are not well, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. You got anything for me? Oh, uh, yeah, of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. <laughs> love and friendship, friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir, but with love, rich. We thank you. Uh. Gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking about? The demons have us by the throat, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness, it's, it's everywhere. The, he was right. What are you talking about? Sir, they come in Help! darkness. Somebody, please help. They're coming. <laughs> Keep your door shut! Ma'am, you're safe now. I'll see if there's any more of them. Shit, there's more, all right. Home. No, no, no. He said, he said they would come in many forms, huh? And he, and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? Just sick dogs, hydrophobia, or some other poison. He said we were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, mister. Get, get yourself a gun. Shoot any sick animals you see. Life will be just fine. The darkness has come for us. <laughs> he was right. Who was right? I was. Oh, protect us from evil. I shall save them. Mm -hmm. And who are you? There will be no more four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. Uh -huh. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. I just saved them. And it weren't no curse, just sick dogs. Dark charms possess the woods, I told you. He, he, did, he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That? 
Don't touch They found the curse! So... The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. The curse! Yet the woods are also full of demons. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? He never lied to me. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So you're saying someone destroys all the charms and curses lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. Oh, I can see that. It's impossible. <laughs> there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come, and he would help, and he would laugh. Well, yeah, you, you told us. Remember me? Helped you with some dogs. Been seeing about this curse of yours. Oh, welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those uh, charms out in the woods? Yeah. They're all broken. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> so, I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle! We're saved! <laughs> the darkness lifted! <laughs> Not saved. Huh? Cursed. Huh? He broke the charms. And the spirits are set loose. We're, 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 we're doomed then? Hold on. But you said the charms was protecting the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. Right, now, I, 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 need to, I need some light here now. I, yeah, I don't know what to think. Hey, huh? look at me. Yeah? I'd think there's something going on in this holler, and it ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this fella don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie and dissemble. Something's up. And this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas. He didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift, my ancestor. I got a gift myself. I'm going to commune with the spirits. Dark, dark omens, dark spirits. What's he hiding? He, he, always, he always spoke truthful to us. There, there is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll go check it out for myself. See if I can see anything. All right. All right. Come on, then. <laughs> That all. This is the dig.
cursed, all right. Who's there? I see you over there. Game's up. This is poison in his mind. God damn you! I'll get out of here! Come on! Where's this runoff heading, huh? Go, girl. I would save you? Yes! Said I would lead you out of the darkness! Yes! Show us the light! I shall! I shall! But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey! Uh, I, I, I hereby will release will absolve and, and, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading! Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, oh you're oh. back! We thought the curse had got you! Nope, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. Found this down the old dig, leaking all the way to the lake. You've been poisoned. Uh, no, we, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. And listen to him say it. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? You won't mind drinking. Oh, oh hey, no. hey, 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 no, hey, please, hey, hey, no, hey, no. Oh, you've killed me! I'm poisoned! Poison now, is it? Uh, uh, oh, oh, the dig. All they found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to uh, get you all to go. Uh, now you heard it. It's taken me! Oh, oh. oh dear. Uh, Dear God, there's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? <laughs> Powerful forces have taken on this town. Oh, yes, spirits. Yes. It's a mining company. Oh, no, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters. We got some praying to do! Yes, Pray, do something! You'll die! Or worse! 
Just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money there. Just take it if you want it. Sir, welcome back. Thanks, partner. We've had enough of you causing trouble. You got the wrong fella. I mean, the point is, I promise you. your property. John, ah, nice to see you again. How have you been? Not bad. You? Oh, very well. So, I, I meant to ask last time. Are Abigail and Jack, uh, okay? You're still with them? Yeah, yeah, they're doing fine. Jack's nearly a young man now. Oh, good. Good, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad. You know, always like those two. Anyway, what can I do you for? talking to just an old friend well have you tidied those shelves yes dear who's that that's my wife ethel a wonderful woman changed my life i try not to think too much about the uh old days Morning to you. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Okay. And you? Well, only got the one leg. <laughs> Been standing here since about 1870 and uh, slowly starving to death. Uh, sorry I asked. Ah, don't worry about it. Hey, say you a Yankee? I'm not sure. You know, there was a fella I used to see with you a few years back. He was, he was tall and a moody face. Yeah. Arthur. He died, I'm afraid. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. He... He saved my life. Is that so? He didn't always seem to type. No. No, he didn't. Hello again, sir. All right, what would you like to send? You're real helpful, thank you. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know which way the stick flows. You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? See you soon. Try out looking for that one out by Catfish Jackson's. And when you get him and his cronies, tell him that we're just railway workers here, not instruments of tyranny or however they phrase it, the imbeciles. This bounty, Raider with all the M's and L's in his name, you must know something about him. Camille de Millimont. He's French, but he's no gentleman. Old pack of raiders are savages, if you ask me. Good riddance to him. If I'm gonna go after this bounty, the Raider, I'll need more information. The bounty's for DeMillimont, you see. But, look, you won't find just him. 
I have a whole band of boys with them, so be wary. Hey, I'm always wary. Well, I got a bounty to chase. And it's dead or alive, in case you are most a reader. Hello there. Hi, fellas. Okay, Missy. My friends, I am proud of you all. That will send a clear message. Let's hitch the horses and relax a little. Look here! The Ain't tight enough. Get your fifty rope off me, you peasant! Listen, is it okay if I rob you? You're making a big mistake. Committed no crime. I fight for your country. Release me right now. You're coming with me. You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. What are they offering? A hundred dollars? Two hundred? I wish you was worth a hundred. You're a cheap son of a bitch. I almost didn't bother. What? There must be some mistake. My name is Camille de Milmont. Yeah, blame your parents for that, not me. I am no criminal. I fight for you, for all of us. For our Strong no. Rider going to federal jail! God damn it! There's only one of him! There'll be more where they came from, believe me! I am a realist, that's all. People need hierarchy, they crave it. It is the foundation of civilization. I guess I just ain't that civilized then. Please, take my advice. Better to face the truth now, uncomfortable as it is, than when it's already too late. And here's some advice for you. Skip the last meal. Cowards like you always spoil their britches when the noose drops. You can go to hell. Oh, I intend to. Not before you, my friend. Now shut your goddamn mouth.
Here we are. You're making a big mistake. We're on the same side. No, we ain't. Here we go. I got to Millamont, and he ain't happy about it. Strike me down. Sheriff. Put him in the cell, then. You are a traitor, Sheriff Tomas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down. That's always been all you's problem. Too damn noisy for folks good. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. You have not seen the last of us. Don't risk hiding Out of here. My folks can get you there. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Hmm? Yes? Just a moment, please. What you need to send? Thanks, mister. Morning. You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He escaped from his... Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please, Helen? He was amusing at first... Oh! John! How are you? Never better. I see you two haven't changed much. No? He's still a lizard. Coward. Turbo. Mommy's boy. Manatee. Effluent discharge. Milk sop. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. John, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Good luck! <laughs> you crazy bastards. Oh my lord! Oh, the fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they've done this! Uh, come on. Let's go try and find them. We must! At once! Okay, get on your horse. Follow me. They've been carried down a ways. We can't get there from this first path. Do you think they're all right? They might be. You want them to be all right? Of course. Whatever do you mean? I was just thinking. It might be easier for you if, if only one of them was... <sighs> you catch my meaning? Sir, that is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both. 
equally. Then maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. You can't get down. There now. you are. Acrisius, what have you done? <laughs> Brother, are you there? Acri? <gasps> Is that you? <laughs> I've had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner. <laughs> it's a miracle we're alive. <laughs> silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. <laughs> She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know! You are a lion! Giant! You are an earthshaker! World conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milksops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Let, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! <laughs> Boys! <sighs> Quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without me. No, probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Ma'am. Oh. oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest men I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> well, that's usually how it works. Good luck. <laughs> Easy there. Are you? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. God. <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum. Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph. I'm sorry. People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Uh, who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. John. Sure you don't want a photo? Not right now. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. So you're, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send your fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.
Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Well, I'm sorry, I'll dry up. See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Eh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. These little rock carvings? Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you... No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Actually... You mean these? Yes! Yes! Oh, but where's the rest of them? What rest of them? No, I need all of them. Then I'll pay you, handsomely. Let me sketch these down. Here's my card. What if I can't find the rest of them? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. John Marston. Pleasure. But I don't understand. What are you gonna do with these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you with... Eh, yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. Bart Cavanaugh. He's one of them boys down from Laramie. They say they businessmen chasing up land deals. But I know higher guns when I see him. Laramie? I'm acquainted with some of those fellas. Yeah, mayor's got a strange tolerance. But this one's gone too far. He's up north of here, the other side of the mountain. Tell me about this bounty. What's his charge? Intimidation, the destruction of property. Violent assault, but they're all things we turn a blind eye to now if you're from those parts, or so I'm instructed. Okay. Why are we after this fella then? Bart Cavanaugh got fresh with the wrong girl. A cattleman's daughter. He's what you'd call an example to the rest. Indeed. I figure I know what I gotta do. However you can get him is how we'll take him. Good luck with it.
What kind of coward ambushes a feller in his sleep? Thanks for making it so easy for me. Wish they was all as dumb as you. Anything happens to me, you're a dead man. Ain't you heard of the Laramies? Oh yeah, we've met. They'll get me out, and when they do, we're real good at finding people. I really couldn't feel less intimidated by you, Bart. Ugh, my stomach's turned something rotten. Can you take it easy? Nope. I really don't feel good. And I really couldn't care less. I think I'm going to be sick. <coughs> spill any of your guts on my horse. I'll spill yours on the ground. I'm just as fine taking you in dead. <coughs> That's better. Real charmer, ain't you? What were you fellas drinking anyway? Some hillbilly rot gut. It was real fun. Till it wasn't. These ain't even my clothes. Last thing I remember, we caught a rat in a boot, and we're all pissing in it. <laughs> well, at least you can go to the gallows knowing you've led a full life, Bart. Oh, God, no. This boot's wet. It's coming back to me now. Sock full of piss. We're staying my life. And you saved the worst for last. You're real lucky I was indisposed. Yeah, I can only imagine you at your sharpest. Don't do this. Let's work something out. Someone's here to see you, Sheriff. Bart Cavanaugh. Put him down in one of the cells. You know who I am, Sheriff? You know who's protecting me? I hope you're sweating, because you're going to feel it for this. It's your boss who got you brought in, you dumb bollock. Now shut up. This is the worst mistake you ever made. Money's there. I'm gonna take some comfort in seeing at least one of them Laramie boys meet justice. Take it if it helps. Thanks. Won't be any more bounty posters up on this wall. Makes the visitors nervous, I'm told. Uh, just a minute. Oh, good. Hear those lamb has been causing trouble up at Pronghorn Ranch. Mister? Hey, partner. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Thank you. No problem at all. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them if you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive, but sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. The mountain country's full of Skinner brothers. You tell me why this one, Elias Green's got a warrant on him. I'd send you after every last one of them jackals if I could. Reason this one's got his picture up is the mayor signed off on it. That's that. What did he do? He perpetrated, or was one of the perpetrators, of a massacre. Party of six. 
Killed and then some. We have his name, we have his likeness. You have his warrant. I do. I'll see about him, sir. Oh, uh, thanks for the information. The ink's dry on that one. Kill him if you got to. Give him hell. Ah! Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here. Here, come on! Don't go nowhere. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make, I'll make you into a hat, mister. I would love to see you try. There you go. Now, let's get you to Blackwater. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man turns his back on me. I'm gonna kill you. I could cut you anytime, mister. Think you can fix it so we're introduced? <laughs> you <laughs> may get a wife of your own in prison. You ever felt pain, mister? Real pain? Screaming? Crying, begging pain. I will put you to a fire. Have you praying for your death? Eyes all white, mouth quivering. I get you. You're gonna suffer, mister. Suffer! Let's go. 
gonna let me go so I can come and find you? They want me dead and buried and all forgotten about. Blackwater Police. Oh, I'm staying out of this. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you! Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green as I live and breathe. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that. I'll take it. You come back soon, you'll find another poster on that wall. This fledgling community needs your kind. It ain't my fault, Chief. I needed it. Once you start killing, you just can't stop. Try it, Chief. You're dead, Green. But there's ways I can make this worse on you. I see you. Hold on. Well, what can I send for you? Oh, yeah? Thanks for your time. Hey, buddy. Hey, little fella. Be with you momentarily. Hello, how can I help? 
Take care now. called Beecher's Hope in Great Plains, wow. West Elizabeth. Okay, good, good. So, what can I help you with today? Yes, dear? This coffee is as bitter as wormwood. Okay, I'll make a fresh pot for you. I just have a customer right now. I love that woman. You know, before her, I was married briefly to a lady called Michelle. But she was an absolute nightmare. Oh, seems you've landed on your feet this time. So are you after anything in particular? We are gathered on this very solemn occasion to dispense justice. That's Ladies right. and gentlemen, without justice, we're no better than animals. Well. You again. And you, Seeing you for through, your crimes, huh? justice has come. Come on already. We gotta give him the show. Mark Johnson, a murderer. A brutal and fearsome criminal his entire life. Go straight to a hell! A man who thought he could just leave his outlaw past behind and become a rancher and family man. Well, the law don't work that way, Mr. Johnson. A yeah, changed man it. does not change the crimes he committed. <laughs> we ah, are it. what we've done. You can't outrun your blood. Oh. Forgive you, mister. You know what to do, girl. Hey, mister. Oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business. Sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Uh oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me, I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm, I'm begging you, partner. Oh. Uh, 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 why? I told you to help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically, drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. I'll give it to White. No, no. Drink you... this. You Take shut it. Shut up. 
Thank you. Oh, uh, oh that's good stuff. Uh, now listen, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Head off up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. Mm. Oh, once we're better. Oh, yeah, well, I agree. I mean, I, I, I can't wait to be rid of you. Embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yeah, you're an embarrassment. Well, uh. be embarrassed no more. Uh. Get back to where folks like you, and I'll go where they like me. Uh, oh, I shall. Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> With pleasure. Greetings. Good to see you. I'll take anything you got for me. You can count on delivery. Well then. We'll get it set out, lickety split. But what would you like to send? You're real helpful, thank you. See you again, sir. What you need to send? What needs to go where? Clear this ride up for you. You must be kidding me. Hello, Mrs. Hobbs. Hello, dearie. Hello. Yeah, you said to come call on you? My name's John Marston. I've been sending you the animals for your art. I guess you make clothes or something? Clothes? Oh, no, I don't make clothes, dearie. Come, come. Mm. What do you make? I make art, dearie. Art? Not art, but life. Life as art. Ah. Come, come meet my friends. <laughs> come, come. It's downstairs. Come meet the world you help build. <laughs> This is... <clears throat> this is... This is quite something. <laughs> it's my life work, dearie. An almighty struggle. <laughs> oh, I love this little fella. He makes me so happy. There's so much life in him, in a way. And look at these three playing poker. Oh, they'll never know who wins because they're all dead. Only it doesn't look like it. Sometimes I, I, I make up little funny voices uh, and I make believe that they're all talking to one another. <laughs> I, I call this guy Percival. I don't know why. Uh, and these two over here, oh, they're prize fighters. Obviously, there isn't any prize because they're both dead. I tried this with humans once during a, a cholera outbreak. 
Ah, no. Animals are better. Their fur is so nice and... Ah. Um, yeah. I think... I don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here. Please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. You and I are both like God now, in a way. Thanks. I should get going. Yeah, well, maybe when you die, somebody will stuff you. And maybe heaven is just like this. Did you ever think of that, dearie? No, I never did. Oh. Be well. Hi. John. How's the boy? He's Jack. <laughs> Having a home. That's good for him. Yep. All right. What? What is that? It's art. Oh, that's what they call it. Hmm. Night, Jack. Night, Mama. What you reading? Uh, Bible. Will you read me that passage that Reverend Swanson used to read? You remember that? Well... N not, not really, Mama. Nor do I. It was so pretty. It, it was in Isaiah, I think. Okay. Uh, here's, here's a beautiful passage. Um, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath, he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That is beautiful. <laughs> but it's not the same. The Reverend spoke about eagles. Well, I don't know much about eagles. Um, good night, Mama. Good night, son. I cannot believe we're sleeping in a house. A house we own. It's just so goddamn strange. Nice strange or nasty strange? <laughs> nice strange. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus. Can you believe it, John? We actually did it. Been a rocky road, and 
We've still got a long way to go, but I think we'll make it. I know we will. I got a good feeling about it. What are you doing? Shh. You wake him. Heard a buffalo wouldn't wake him up. Pull beer, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> You'd be flat on your back halfway to market. Yep. Yeah. Better just keep her for myself. I'll find a nice little cabin with a view. Just me and my beer cow. Living out our days. <laughs> I do not need to know where this fantasy ends. We won't have to kill this one, will we? She's my favorite. One day, we might have to, yeah. If we need the meat. I ain't doing it. I, I can't. I, I, I ain't tough like you. It's all right. I won't make you do anything until you're ready. Hey, son. Pa. Oh, hey, Uncle. Hi there, John. Hey, you reckon this could be a real ranch one day? Big head of cattle and all? I hope so. But let's take it slow. Don't want to run before we can walk. I know. We already pushed our luck harder than we should. Hey there! I'll give you a trim if you want. <laughs> Tidy up those girlish locks of yours. <laughs> I know who's shoveling shit tomorrow. Oh, you are colder than hell on a Stoker's holiday, John Marston. <sighs> In. Fine. You know, John, maybe I don't tell you enough, but thank you. Thank you? For this. This place. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? Well, it's better than okay. It's bliss. Having you and Jack and a home. You have no idea. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I understand. Really, I do. I know. Sure. What are you up to? I was going for a walk. You heading into town? I wasn't planning on it. Well, if you do, buy me a bottle of hooch, will you? <laughs> oh, and don't tell your mom. Why should I? Why should you? One day, kid, you'll be very, very old. <laughs> then you'll understand. Well, I ain't got any money. Well, just ask me to give you some credit. <laughs> well, what's credit? Oh, never mind. But try and steal a bottle if you can. What? Well, come on, don't look at me like that. Be careful. <laughs> How you do? I hope you're looking for another bounty, because we're after that outlaw on the wall there.
Fella's been going into construction yards in the night, taking tools and the like. All kinds of folks is angry about this one, right up to City Hall. Standing in the way of progress, they say. Hmm. <laughs> Zeisendorf, is it? That's how he says it. I thought he was a nice feller, respectable. The Germans usually are, but not this one. You know the man? I do. Caught him selling stolen tools, and I was persuaded he'd been had. We're sure we've got our man now, though. And we're sure he'll strike again. Okay. I'm glad. Cause I ain't never sure of anything. Oh, uh, thanks for the information. I'd appreciate it if you curbed your rougher instincts. Poster says alive. Give him hell. Morning, partner. Bit late to be working, ain't it? Oh. I got you, Zeisendorf! You don't have anything on me! Aye! Better don't have You got it. Okay? <laughs> this is all a terrible mistake. Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. Ah. Oh, you really don't need to do that. Oh, my dinner. I am a respected business person. Uh, think about it. Did you really see anything? It was dark. Many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. It was like taking something. Me, a respectable fellow, an upstanding citizen, or was I tying my shoe? This is the police station. You might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. My good name will be ruined. Shut it. <sighs> Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent until proven. Quiet. There, there. Settle in. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony. But this won't hold up in court. The evidence is purely circumstantial. Herman, will you quiet yourself? Coming to bed? Yeah. <sighs> How's your day? Fine. You can keep out of trouble. <laughs> Always. I assume you didn't just pop in to say hello? All right, suit yourself. Okay, girl. Line up. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Mr. Sinclair? 
Whoa. Oh, hello. Can I help you? I'm sorry for intruding. Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I was looking for your husband. My husband? He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born, one year ago. Your husband Francis is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband Tom is dead. I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? It ain't important. Excuse me. How you do? I hope you're looking for another bounty, cause we're after that outlaw on the wall there. Otis Skinner of the Skinner Brothers. Well, well, well. It's said they took the pelt off a pelt hunter southwest of Manzanita Post. Well, I shall try and hold on to mine. Very droll. In all my years of policing, I haven't encountered men such as those. Makes me wish I'd retired sometime here to four, if I'm frank. Well, good luck and Godspeed. Otis Skinner. I'm assuming he's the head of this gang. They're the Skinner brothers. The clue's in the name, son. The gang doesn't have a head, except, and I'm sorry to be gruesome, except if you count the ones they cut off. Well, tell me about him then. I don't know if he's a savage, a mountain man, or something else. I just know he's made a fair old mess out of everyone's gone after him. And it don't look like he's planning on stopping. That may not be his plan to make. I'll see what I can do then. We'll take them however you find them, alive or dead. you're gonna make me, Mr. Skinner? It won't be worth what I'm gonna do to you. Guess we'll see about that. Here we go. This 
ain't over, mister. Not by a long shot. You ain't out of the woods yet. <laughs> Not even nearly. No! Damn you! You're going to die, friend. It's time. It's gonna be quick, and it's gonna be messy. You think you're on top, but you'll be begging me, mister. Begging me! Who overcomes by force hath overcome but half his foe. You can stop me, all right. But not what I started. No one shall be safe. No one shall find shelter from the storm that's brewing. Your roads ain't safe. Your beds ain't safe. Your wives, your daughters, your sons, your fathers. The slaughter is on. Don't you want to be free, huh? You're a slave to those people. They give you gold, you give them bodies. You're a dog, a servant, a peon, a wretch, a nothing. You're nothing. You're nobody. Look out. I got Otis Skinner here for you. God damn, get him in the cell already. Ain't this a charming little jailhouse? <laughs> I'll be comfortable enough. Ah! God damn, God damn. I got your bounty money here. I'll take it. You should know there has been a cessation in the issuance of bounties in Blackwater. Apparently we have the budget to build a city, but not to protect one. How many boys you lost? Nothing. Just looking around. This is private property. I meant no harm. It's quite a place you got. It's very nice, but it ain't mine. I'm farming for some other fella. I had some bad luck on my place. The fella here had some bad luck himself. Him and his family got hit hard by the sickness. Him and his daughter went off traveling, trying to deal with the sadness, I guess. Traveling, huh? <laughs> Lucky them. <clears throat> I guess. Pretty good pay for me, though. Good for you. Partner. Hold your fire! We're here to 
Sheriff. And we got the money. You're gonna bring Back him off, out. okay? We got some business with the Sheriff. He rode a long way and not just to shoot up the jailhouse. You don't want to disappoint us, Sheriff. Okay. If you got Marcus business, Martin. go ahead and conduct it. Be smart, Amigos, okay? Listen to him. No me Such aquí. a happy reunion. Look, I should like my funds. Gentlemen. That's the problem, you see. We only pay persons who will continue to be useful. No, we had a part. You Get out of here now! Oh my, oh my, if it wasn't for you, sir, if it wasn't for you, whoo -hoo. how lucky we are, the hero we so required. Armadillo is indebted to you, though I fear it may be beyond saving. I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I packed my valise, but the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Glad I was able to help you out of that, Sheriff. Sad you won't stick around. Well, so long. I must see you. Stay away! The cholera is still raging! Partner? Hey, friend. The place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died and most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the scarlet fever. Then it was the desert plague. Then typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. All town's got cholera! Here, you can read for yourself. Thank you. Cholera! Be warned about the cholera! All of you be careful. Leave town. Get out of here. You know what they do with them ten stars in Mexico, boy? Hey! Hey! What's all the nonsense? You don't release me now. Twelve angry Mexicans is gonna ride through this town. Burn it all to hell. Only lock me up if you want this town to burn, Sheriff. <laughs> We do not respond amicably to threats. <clears throat> What's the charge? He was robbing a stage. Then the sentence is death. Make hey, your peace, no! partner. No! The boy was gonna put me in cell! This is wartime, and like you said... No! We can't take the risk. Uh, Sheriff? Okay. From now on, trials are going to be quick, and justice even quicker. We will not submit to these lawless games. Get this trash out of town. Where there's one Del Lobo, there'll be more. Yes, sir, Sheriff. Now you can be a help or hindrance. You want to help? Follow me in. That how you go about it? That's just how it is. I 
I was hoping you was the obliging kind. I didn't want to be this varietal of sheriff, but the situation demands it. Just take that bounty poster there and you'll find out. These fellas is known as the Del Lobo Gang, meaning of the wolf in the Mexican tongue. I only wish they was that civilized. Joaquin Arroyo. Word is he's up at Solomon's Folly. These Del Lobo's been killing, stealing, torching, and tormenting the good people of this region for too long. Only good one's a dead one. Except if they know a thing or two, and I believe this one does. You bring him here, I'll have a few words, and then I'll send him to St. Peter. You have my sworn oath on that. This bounty? Alive seems a pretty big ask for one of these Del Lobos. It is a pretty big ask, and that's a pretty big price. If you're worried about justice, he won't be alive for long after you walk him through that door. Hmm. I'm gonna ride across the desert, bring you a bounty just so you can kill him. God, no. I'll converse with him first. But after that, things will move real swift around here. Oz ain't a hanging judge, you'll see. He's the I'm with you whatever kind. <laughs> now it's just the not so small task of bringing him in. We'd like that one a lot. Sheriff's prerogative. You have the authority of this office. Don't be mistaken. We can't kill the kid. Joaquin vouched for him. If Joaquin Arroyo was here, he'd use his own knife on the little squeaker. Oh, oh Dios mío! Dios mío! Dios mío! He ain't one of us. You have a trench while we kill him, bleed him here. Where's Joaquin Arroyo? I ain't asking you twice. Who are you? What's your oh. Everything's okay. Just tell me where he is. Hop on the tracks. Uh, they're, they're robbing the train. Get out of here before I change my mind. Oh, thank you. Gracias, senor. There, give up before I start shooting. Arroyo, Arroyo, run! You tell him. Someone wants to have a talk with you. You don't got any objections. What's in here? You, you dumb bastard. Do you know who I am? You'll die for this. You're gonna die slow. I'm going to watch them do it. And I'm going to laugh. What was that? I didn't hear you. Every the lobo in New Austin come looking for me. We are an army, a legion. You hear those horses? Those shots? 
You'll know your time has come! Okay, well, I'll take that on board. You know that the Lobos? Hey, we killed and we burned all the way across the country! You should be scared. You should be quaking in your boots, Vaquero. They'll take your ears, they'll take your nose. There won't be nothing left on your head except bone. You have a fine imagination, Arroyo. I'll grant you that. I'm going to take the bounty poster. I'm going to shove it down your mouth. And I'm going to burn you alive, mister. You want to burn? You want to scream? That's what's happening to you. You hear me? Are you listening? You sure are colorful. Here we are. Our time together is almost at an end. I'm going to see you again, mister. Believe me there. Here we go. How do you do? Sheriff, you looking for Joaquin Arroyo? I ordered him. Didn't have much hope of seeing him, though. Put him in the cell. You couldn't come get me, Sheriff? <laughs> you yellow belly. You coward. You sent some vaquero. I could have come after you, Arroyo. But it's so damn hot out there, I didn't want to sweat. My friend, they're going to come for you. Then they'll die, too. Now save some breath for my questions, boy. That's the bounty, as agreed. If the law's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Knowing the situation down here, we'll have more posters up. Matter of time is all. I'll be with you momentarily. Well, look who we have here. I hope this year's as good as the last, but 1905. Hey, hey, easy. <laughs> Jesus! I thought you were dead. I never stopped.
A fan. Good timing. Do you have a camera? Sure. What are you talking about? Liars! Damn liars! Well, you know, they're the liars. Hey, are you the guy that took the photos? I don't think so. Oh, must have been that fella from Quebec. I... Did you say you had a camera? Yeah. Good. You'll do then. What do you need? I found a giant catfish up near Frontera Bridge over in Rio Bravo. Isn't that out in the desert? Yes. And I'm going to catch it. And you are going to photograph me catching it. And then these bastards who call me a fake will discover who really catches these fish. You do, right? Well, you know, some of them. Listen, I know how to catch fish. Ah. <sighs> Come on! I don't want to go out to Rio Bravo. Ah, it'll be an adventure. Come on! I've got quite enough adventures. <sighs> I'll give you something you really love. <sighs> okay, then. So, a catfish in the desert, is that normal? No, not at all. That's why it's so fascinating. It's adapted to a new environment, turned a horrible pallid yellow color, and weighs close to 200 pounds by all accounts. What? <laughs> oh yes, I still need a good name for it. The fans love a name. Old Chalky, El Diablo Amarillo. Uh, I'll come up with something. I always do. I already have a draft of this written for my newspaper column. You haven't caught it yet? Yes, but never has a conclusion been more foregone. So, what exactly am I getting out of this again? What are you getting out of it? Only the best day of your mundane little existence. How often do you get to be a part of a legend? To experience a masterclass in extreme angling up close and personal. To watch an artiste paint his masterpiece. I was talking about money. Good God, the avarice. Do you think Hannibal was haggling as he went over the Alps? You'll be handsomely rewarded, don't you worry about that. A Japanese man once offered me $500 just for an hour of my company. I told him, add a zero, and then maybe we can talk, chum. A whole hour, huh? <sighs> ah. This is the place. <laughs> okay, what's the plan? Oh, no, catfish are easy. Just a couple of rashers of bacon and that boy will be fine. Listen, I want you to get a picture of me actually landing the thing. I'll try. No, you do your best. Okay, chum? Set up over there. <laughs> yes, boss. <sighs> like I said, Fame hasn't changed me, but it has opened a lot of doors that were previously closed. I'm actually planning on turning fishing into a way of, well, uniting nations. <laughs> I'm gonna head to D.C., discuss it with the president. Then I'm gonna head over to Europe, oh, bring the royal families together while I teach them how to fish. Hurry up. Let's catch this fish and go home. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> and now we wait. That's the thing about fish. They can sense when you're desperate. Sure. Yeah. So we gotta stay calm. Just... <sighs> relax. Hooray. You know, I write poems. Would you like to hear... No, thank you. Okay. <sighs> I got invited to China. I'm gonna fish with the emperor there. <sighs> Where is this goddamn catfish? Then I said, listen, sister, I don't care if you're the Queen of Sheba, not just of England. Fishing is an art form.
<laughs> yeah, well, she kept quiet after that. <laughs> oh, until dinner. <laughs> hey, chum. Uh, uh. Wake up. The fish can tell if you're sleeping. Yeah, sorry. Where is that damn fish? I was out there for five days wrestling that monster. <laughs> but I got him in the end. <sighs> you know, the villagers were so grateful, the chief gave me his daughter. Hey, chum. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. We got something. Oh, oh we got something. <laughs> Is it that catfish? <laughs> it's something big. Oh. Good. Hurry up! Oh, no, don't you rush me, chum! This is me and the gods wrestling for immortality! Oh, oh, oh my god! It's a monster! Oh, oh, god, he's gone again! Damn! Oh, oh, no, no, I still got him on the line! You get ready! Oh, 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 he's gonna come back again, I'm gonna pull him in just a little bit, and I'm gonna tire him out! Get the camera ready! I'm ready! Oh, oh, oh come on, boy! Come on, boy! Oh, come on, he's huge! Come on! Here, get this! Get this! Here he comes! Here he comes! Here comes him off! Oh, oh. My God! Arroyo, and the, the Lobos. That's who's gonna come for you, cabron. Now, have you talked to the sheriff? Like a good little boy? I only gonna talk to your mama, okay? But she can fit through the door. That's very clever. <laughs> well done. Howdy. Enjoy your time here, people. Enjoy it safely. Hey, hey! We're meant to be holding up here, aren't we? So why are you putting up shit? You want to stick a dynamite shot out of your hand, or you want to tell me where Esteban Cortez is at? I think it's as simple as one or the other. Thank you. 
For money, hey? Or because you like it? You like the power? Tying people up? <laughs> you had your fill. You're not the law. You're not an outlaw. You're just a bastard. Nothing, man. Hypocrite! You're such a hard ass, eh? I spit on you! Curse you, bounty hunter! That's it. Let it out. Sheriff Freeman, he pay you to kill my men. He pay you to kill me. You're just an assassin. A dirty, greedy killer. You like that? You heartless bastard. That's all you were. But you feel better now. For Esteban Cortez? Here he is, the son of a bitch. Mr. Cortez, we meet at last. The cell there is made up nice, especially. You're going to die! Damn you, cabron. I believe you'll find that figure to your liking. Justice is the real reward. <laughs> I wouldn't come here looking for bounties for a while. The sheriff can only delegate responsibility so long. I want authority. I got to earn it. Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, hey look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I barely recognize you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away? Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. All right, but the law's pretty... Well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. Hyde Mighty, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. Oh. I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. You're an unkind man, Mr. Black! Oh, let me in. Let... Let me in. Open the door. Come on, let me in. 
I'll kill you myself! Go away! Let me in! I... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Now let me in. Go away. I'm so... I'm... I'm... I'll make dinner. Again. All right? I'm, I'm sorry. Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry. Head up. Professor. Where's your creation now? about done, my friend. Now, stand on second.